Stop selling your house to investors for cash. So I just had a conversation with an uh, elder. You guys know how I love my elders. So I just had a conversation with an elder who said that she's considering selling her house. And she knows that the roof is bad. She knows that, you know, it needs a little bit more than just some paint and for the floors to be buffered. And she said, Taylor, like, I don't have the money to make the necessary upgrades to my home in order to sell it to get the money that I deserve. So, baby, Thumbprint Realty, Taylor Andre, like, we have the money so you can make the necessary upgrades and updates and the gra granite countertops and the stainless steel appliances and the beautiful hardwood floors in order for you to sell your house for more than the investor is willing to give you. So she has a multifamily, a three family. Then an investor wants to give her $425,000 for it cash. And when we think about $425,000, we're like, yo, I've never seen that money in my life. You know, the most I got was $8,000 on a tax return. Like we have this type of mentality. And so $425,000 sounds like amazing awesome i can go ahead and purchase a little condo i don't have to deal with you know uh, shoveling anymore i don't have to like but when you think about how much you're losing so let's say for instance she goes through with this she gets the four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars from the investor for a three family home he puts in a hundred thousand dollars a hundred thousand let's say it's like thirty 35 per floor, right? A little bit more than a hundred thousand. That is uh, 425,000 for a three family. He goes ahead and condos it out. That's an additional, let's just say $20,000 legal fees, XYZ paperwork. That's 450,000. After you condo it out, you can sell each floor, which is an apartment as a condo for anywhere between three fifty and six hundred thousand dollars for condos right now. Let's just say they sell for five hundred thousand. First floor five hundred thousand, second floor five hundred thousand, third floor five hundred thousand dollars. And if they're in Mattapan, they can go ahead and convert the attic and or the basement to then add an additional house. Let's say three hundred thousand. That's five, ten, fifteen with another three. That is one point three million dollars. They paid low mama three hundred and twenty five thousand. They went ahead. What did I say? She three twenty five, three fifty. I'm over here trying to add in my head. It's not child support, so I'm getting confused. <laughs> but they just essentially made five hundred a million. They just essentially made seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And you, the seller, you, the owner, you want to move down south to warmer weather. You are don't want your parents' house and they just recently passed away and you don't want the memories. You don't want to have to deal with fixing it up. You don't want to be a landlord. Like, stop selling to these investors. When you are the owner, you get to choose who you're going to sell your house to. So if you don't want to, you know, continue the cycle of gentrification and you want somebody who looks like you to buy your house, selling it to an investor is going to get you a little bit of pocket change in your hand immediately or you can wait long term do the work yourself. Call me, call my company so we can do the work. Make you the investor so you walk away looking like the investor instead of selling your money when you walking away looking like an idiot. I'm serious. Stop. As far as our elders concerned, stop letting these elders give away their houses. If somebody's willing to give you $400,000 for your house and that shit's falling apart, how much money you think they're about to make? If somebody's willing to give you $600,000 for your two family your three family how much money do you think they're about to make do that do the work yourself and i'm not saying actually you have to get your hands dirty and blow your back out and do the work but call me and let me do the work 
So you can walk away looking like the investor instead of being raped by these people who aren't from your community, who don't look like you, and they just want your neighborhood that they just talked trash about eight to ten years ago. I bet you it look desirable now. I bet you it's not the hood no more. I bet you it's not the ghetto any longer. Stop selling your house to investors and be the investor mama. Be the investor papa. If you have your parents home and your parents don't want, you know, passed on and you don't want the burden of your parents home, call me. If you are an elder and you want to go move to warmer weather, you sick and tired of the north, call me. Stop selling to investors. If they're willing to give you this amount of money and you're like, oh my God, that's so much money. I've never seen this money before. How much money do you think they're about to make? You can be the investor. Let me show you how. It's not hard. It's not difficult. It's not going to take a long time. 617-459-0041. I thank you. I love you. I appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing day. Oh, we don't want to end. <laughs> Your house is not ugly. We buy ugly houses. No, what they do is they buy buy investment properties. That's what they do. Your house ain't ugly, baby. It, your house is an investment. They want you to think your house is ugly so they can go ahead and get every drip, drop, dime that you ain't finna see. Trust and believe. I, for those who know me, for no, those waking up with Taylor Andre, Unorthodox conversations leading to universal consciousness. You guys know the conversation kept coming up over and over and over and over and over again about affordable housing, about low income housing. All them questions kept coming up and nobody gave me the answer. The answer was always the real estate agent, the investors. So I became the real estate agent. I learned the trick of the trade and I'm trying to sell you the game. I'm, that's exactly, I'm trying to sell, this is the game. I want you to play the game so you can win. You remember Monopoly? Your house is boardwalk, baby. Stop selling it for Mediterranean money. In Baltic. It's Baltic and Mediterranean, right? You selling your property for Baltic and Mediterranean money, and it's worth boardwalk money. Stop giving away your equity. Stop giving away your property. Stop giving away your land. And as far as these wayward children, and I call you wayward because your parents done busted their entire ass to buy this house to make sure you have something. If you don't want it, that's perfectly fine. But do something with it so somebody in your neighborhood has an opportunity to buy it. Stop selling to people who really are out here talking trash about a Dorchester, Roxbury, Mattapan until a damn train station pop up, show up, and now all of a sudden it's the most desirable area. Just like Brooklyn. Just like nobody wanted to live in Brooklyn. Didn't nobody want to live in Harlem. But now all of a sudden it's hip. All of a sudden that's the place to be. Let me show you what you can do with that. And even if you, your parents own a three-family, let me show you how you can make some money on it. You live in one of the floors. You already got to deal with tenants. Tenants getting on your nerves. You know what you can do with that? Go ahead and make the necessary updates. Make the necessary upgrades so it's desirable to those that are paying X amount of dollars. Condo it out so the floor that you live in is the floor that you still are the owner of. Sell the other two units because it's nothing more but a damn apartment, baby. That three-bedroom, one-bath apartment with a back porch is now considered a condo. The only difference between a condo and an apartment is how much you get paid. <laughs> Period. Go on, condo it out. And you can own two of the condos and rent out your condo. Or you can sell two of the condos, live in your condo. Still have property that you own, still have money coming in because you can either rent it out and have residual income every month, or you can sell it and get that anywhere between three hundred and six hundred thousand dollars for selling your apartment because you don't want to you don't want to deal with tenants. 
and with your condo association you set how much the condo association fee is you have a company come out and do all of your shoveling do all of your yard work there's solutions to this baby i didn't come out here to learn the game to keep it to myself i came out here to learn the game to school y'all you know me i thank you i love you i appreciate it if it wants to end, I'm going to let it end. If it don't, we're going to go on a tangent some more so y'all can get all the knowledge you need.